How you doing YouTube? This is Chris Mizo here. If you haven't heard the latest news from CES 2020, they are finally going to have Asus and Corsair having their RGBs in sync. For years we've been waiting for RGBs to have some compatibility with each other. Now we can finally see it in action. You can finally have your Asus and your Corsair RGBs working today by following these easy steps. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy this content. If you enjoy this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Now let's get started. All the information is currently on beta. It's going to be on a form on Corsair and I will have this on the link down in the description below. So that way if you want to uh, look at the instructions itself just in case if you run into any issues. As you can see you need an Aurora Sync compatible motherboard. You also need IQ version 3.23 or newer. You're going to need Aurora version 1.07.79 or newer. Also you're going to need a plugin and that's the key to make them work together. So don't expect uh, all the software to work together right away without that plugin. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go down to Corsair's IQ and you're going to download it. As you can see, the newest update was from January 6th of 2020. So I'm going to hit the download button. I usually skip this step right here. And now mind you guys, this is currently on the beta version. So it might have a little bit of bugs or who knows it might even work better than the final product but uh you can test it out for yourself and see how you like it on your rig okay looks like it's downloaded let's hit that run button now i'm looking forward to it finally see everything in sync with um, the asus software for me i'm gonna hit repair go next Mines might be already up to date. Now I already have IQ already installed on my PC. So uh, you may not get those options of repair and remove. But if you do, you can hit repair. Or you can just go into IQ software and click install. So we're going to go into Aurora Sync. And make sure you download the newest utility, which currently is 1.07.79 now you could be from the future and you might have a newer update but if you do just download the newest update go to Aurora setup install go next next and it should set it up Okay, so now it's uh, officially installed. Now we're gonna click finish and we're gonna have to restart this computer. So we'll be right back after that. Now that we have IQ installed and we also installed Aurora, we won't have to open either application as of for now. Next, we're gonna download this uh, plugin and I'll show you exactly how we're gonna install it. If you go down to the video description down below, click the link asusplugin.zip. That will be uh, the plugin that you need to install on Corsair. So let's go ahead and download it. So when you have the plugin downloaded, you're going to click extract. And where we're going to extract it to is uh, Corsair's plugin. So wherever you have it set, whether it's uh, program files or program files x86, you have to go to where your plugins are in for your Corsair. Typically, they're going to be over at uh, Program Files uh, x86. So we're going to go there. Uh, go to Corsair. Corsair IQ software. Go to Plugins. And you can see uh, Lenovo in there already. So you're just going to extract Asus into the plugins. So click OK. Yes. Now it's extracted. Now, it should look like this. If it's done correctly, you're going to go to your C file, go to Programs, Files, x86. You're going to go to Corsair, Corsair IQ Software. 
and then you're going to go into uh, plugins. You should see Asus and Lenovo. Remember, don't click Aurora because they don't work together. You just want to have it installed on your system. So that way, IQ software can control everything. So let's open that up. As you can see, I got the Lighting Node Pro and the ASUS motherboard. You could click into the ASUS motherboard now. You can control everything on the motherboard only. If it's any other third-party software, as in RAM, coolers, graphics cards, anything from third-party software will not work because it's not supported yet. And again, this is only the beta version. So, but as of now, you can hit lighting effects and now you can control anything you want on your motherboard. Now it's in sync with anything that you have with your Corsair product. You got the little rainbow here, you got color poles, anything you want to control right here. But other than that, I hope you found this very useful and a very easy install. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.